Lord be with you. And also with you. I feel like I shouldn't even have a microphone on today. <laughs> but welcome to worship on this beautiful day. Although I'm hot. But it's a beautiful day. I'm glad you're here. The seventh Wednesday of Easter. Um, for those of you, well, none of you are rap group age, so I will skip that announcement. <laughs> um, Pentecost worship is this Sunday, the 23rd, so make sure you wear your Pentecost red, and um, we will be thinking of Kyle as he gets confirmed too on uh, Sunday. That's exciting. Um, and in two weeks, we'll start our Wednesday campfire worship. So um, on June 2nd, we'll start our outdoor worship in the outdoor worship space up that dirt road. Um, and that will be at 6.30, and it's a really casual, fairly short service, and um, we just sing songs and have some discussion. And then, of course, we have our s'mores, which is awesome. And if it rains, we're inside, and we have root beer floats, which is also awesome. So <laughs> make sure you come to that and bring your friends. It's a lot of fun. Um, so now I invite you to stand as you're able as we begin worship in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please join me in the call to worship. We long for community and the presence of God in, in whom we, we live, live and, and move, move and, and have our being. The, this day of Christ tells us that we will never be alone. An advocate, the spirit of truth, will share our journey. With whom we will live and create community and celebrate being. May the love of God be with you. And the joy of Christ surround you. May we know the presence of the Advocate as we gather in this community of peace. May your truth lead us to the path of discipleship with deeds of bold mercy and courageous justice. As an Easter, Easter people, people following a risen Lord, may the life of Jesus live on in us and through us. Amen. Let's sing. What does eternal life? What does that mean? It means that you never die. 
You never die. Okay? And also, where are the worship Oh, are we out of them? Oh, that's right, we moved them. Never mind. We'll give you credit. You're, it's all good. This confirmation year is over. No, no, no more worship notes needed until September. <laughs> so you're good. <laughs> and you're probably thinking, then why did I come? <laughs> it's all good, though. <laughs> I understand. I mean, don't think I don't understand. <laughs> so, so, why it says eternal life means you never die. What else? Does it mean anything else? <clears throat> <laughs> okay? How about this? So, this reading from 1 John uh, the, is the second half of the reading. So, the first half also talks about life, but it also talks about two other important words in uh, 1 John and in the Gospel of John. So, there's believe, witness, and life. Those three words are throughout the Gospel of John and in this first John letter too. So if you think about believing, you know, it's obviously about believing in Jesus as God's Son and that He died and rose and we have forgiveness of sins because and, and that's where we you know we have eternal life and all of that. So part of that is about witness too. So if we believe, then we are witnesses to what we believe. So, what does it mean to be a witness? To tell about what you see and know and think. To tell about what you see and know and think. If you think about being a witness at a court trial, that's what you, you have to tell what you've seen, you know, what you, what you saw, what happened. And for being a Christian witness is about sharing what you believe about Jesus and how that, has, that belief has touched your life. And what difference that has made for you. It's not just telling the story. It's also about telling what difference it makes in your life. So now here in this section of 1 John, we have this idea of life. Um, so John, he's talking to this community. Um, he's talking to a community of believers. He's not trying to convince people who don't believe that they need to believe. He's speaking to this community who are already believers. But he's stressing the importance of belief and witnessing. And by doing those two things, you have life. Jesus talks about having life and having it abundantly. So, um, what does that mean to you? What is abundant life? I mean, does it mean we have everything we ever want or need and, you know, that we're rich and we have a big house and we have all the stuff we want and all the food we could eat. And is that what abundant life means? Not so much. Although all those things are nice, <laughs> but that's not what abundant life is. Just like eternal life is not only about what happens after we die. And I talk about this at funerals all the time. That eternal life, yes, is about what happens after we die. That in reality, our bodies die, but our spirits do not. Our spirits continue, and we have eternal life with God. That's a part of that. But for me, eternal life is always about how we live now. It's part of that abundant life now. And John very much sees eternal life wrapped up in life now. And that's all wrapped up in our believing and our witness. So we experience abundant life and this eternal life through our witness. And, you know, we're, we're going to be celebrating Pentecost in just a few days, the giving of the Holy Spirit. Well, to me, the Spirit is what gives us the strength and power to be good witnesses and to live that abundant life. This one scholar that I read this week talked about um, Far from being an escape from this world, eternal life, in John's understanding, is a call to authentic human existence in the world, a call to embody the love of God made known to us in the Word made flesh. 
So eternal life is not about thinking about what's going to happen when we die. We're going to be with Jesus. Everything's going to be great. And there'll be no more pain. And everything's going to be awesome, which is true. <laughs> but our eternal life is lived out now through the way that we witness and the way that we love, as Jesus calls us to love, and how we bring that abundant life and that love to the people around us. I think for me, that's the biggest part of eternal life is not later, but now. How do we live out our eternal life now? And how does that affect us now? How does our eternal life and our love and our grace for other people, how, how is that reflected in what we do and say and our relationships with each other? If someone were to look on the outside in at our lives, you and I, would they be able to see that eternal life being lived out in us? That's a hard question, I think. Because some days we do that really well. Today was not one of those days for me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Today was not a good eternal life day for me. <laughs> so some days we're good at it, and some days we're not so good. But that doesn't mean we lose it. <laughs> you know, we still have it. Even when we have our off days, and our days when we're not as loving and grace-filled <laughs> as we would like. I just want you to remember that. You're the three big things for John. The believing, the witnessing, and the life. And that abundant life, that eternal life that you have now. And how you live that out every day. Because that's who you are. You live that out. Amen. Okay. And so now I, I do invite you to come and kneel or sit and say a prayer and light a candle and um, enjoy the music and just spend time in prayer and you can spend as much time as you want kneeling and praying.
stand as you are able. And now gather into one by the Holy Spirit, let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom be come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Now receive the blessing. May our glorious God grant you a spirit of wisdom to know and to love the risen Lord Jesus, the God of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Bless you now and forever. Amen. Let's sing. Thank you.